for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brian Newbert. And right now I'm making my living riding horses for people and doing clinics all over the country. But I was raised on a ranch in uh, near Salinas, California. My family has a ranch there, just a small ranch. And some of it's real, real steep. And we just couldn't, you can't gather cattle unless you can get a horse back. It's just uh, really, really tough country. And uh, never knew it till I was in high school, really, but I was neighbors to Bill Dorrance. He kind of changed everything for me, but I met his boys in high school. And we'd been neighbors all our lives, but our homes were no near, nowhere near the border. So I'd seen them from a distance, and they'd seen us from a distance many times. But anyway, we got together when I was there in high school, and and uh, Bill was quite a guy. He really, he really wanted to help me, and mainly I think on the start to get his sons a little more enthused. They were good boys but they didn't have some of the best friends and he was hoping that if he got me going it would uh, encourage them a little more with the horsemanship and the roping and the braiding and all that and uh, but we became pretty good friends and they sort of faded out really on that but we uh, we went on without them anyway we had lots of fun I uh, I could ride up to his house in an hour and 45 minutes. It was a lot of zigging and zagging, but I could come home in 45 minutes because it'd be straight down off the mountain, and I left there many, many nights when it was just pitch dark and uh, had so much fun. Bill was a real, real encourager, and um, when I got out of school, Bill invited me to start a bunch of horses with him, and uh, did that full time and uh, he had a friend named Ray Hunt and I met him through Bill and then he kind of asked Bill if it would be okay if he borrowed me and but I never really made it back with Bill on a steady basis. Ray and, and uh, Bill had talked quite a bit about working in Nevada on those big cow outfits and I thought I just had to be there, and, and uh, Ray hooked me up with a job up there, and um, that was really a lot of fun. It was dream come true for me. It was just, uh, I'd usually go up there in the spring, and the outfit that I worked for had 14,000 mother cows, and there was, we run a wagon, that means you, generally pull out the 15th of May and come out home after the 4th of July and you just camp out with the cows and just brand every day and no days off or anything you never knew whether it was a Wednesday or a Saturday or what it was and and I started quite a few colts for those people and um, 1974 I came home and and spent the whole year there worked on a big ranch in California, and I got to know Tom Dorrance. I'd met him earlier, but I got to know him through Ray, kind of. Ray encouraged me to get to know him. And then one year there, he had a bunch of colts that needed to be started. It, they weren't his. They belonged to a, a fellow he was working for. We had 19 of those colts to start. That was really a lot of fun, and got to be good friends with him, and, and uh, spent just any time I could with him. He was really an amazing horseman, and and a big time encourager, just a total gentleman, just like his brother Bill. Actually worked for Ray on a ranch in Nevada. Actually worked for Ray four different times. And uh, three times we rode colts together. And one time I just was cowboying for him on a big ranch in Gerlock, Nevada. And then uh, worked for Darren. He's married in there somewhere. and. Uh, I had three children, they were quite a thing in my life, and all three of them um, make their living a horseback, and, and it's kind of neat if you can, if your best friends are your 
also family members. And um, those kids stayed with me till they got their driver's licenses. And we started doing clinics, and it was not too much fun for them traveling down the road. And, and uh, so they took off for coat riding projects, and that's what they do yet for a living. But they have gotten a chance to work with some really good hands and some of the best in the world, and it's really been fun for me to have them come back and try to help me get up to where, closer to where they are. I'm never going to make that now, I can see, but uh, that's really been fun. My daughter's a cutter and my two sons just start horses all over in Hawaii and Texas and Nebraska and California and everywhere. And um, But I just travel around and do these clinics. I get to hang out here in the winter a little bit. It's kind of fun. I like to work with the horses and it's it's really fun for me if I can turn the light on for somebody at those clinics. Once in a while you get somebody that you can tell really came to learn and, and uh, they're stuck in some places that I used to be stuck in and uh, that's really been fun. The traveling isn't really kind of what I'd pick to do for 11. I sure seen a lot of country and made a lot of friends and and uh, I hear people say when they retire they're going to start traveling but I guarantee when I retire I'm staying home. <laughs> you know I just I really do I've always had a passion for working f with horses and the Lord has blessed me with an opportunity to work with She's the best people that I could ever hope to work with. That just sort of happened. And I can't say that if I was a super millionaire that I'd be doing clinics, but I am working with horses and helping people and that's pretty fun. And I can guarantee that if money was out of the question, I'd still be a horseback. Anybody that can make a living out of something they'd do if they didn't have to make a living. It's a pretty blessed person. I realize that's me the whole way through. <laughs>